Elise, isn't it a beautiful day? I think so. I mean, the sun is shining, the tank is clean. The tank is clean? The, the tank, tank is, is clean! clean. Um, Percy Blakeney's here today to help me with the video. So you all know about the vote on the lost suspect petition. I think I've talked about it. Just a bit. Slightly. It may have come up. Anyway, the official vote is next week, and we thought it would be a good idea to do a counter campaign, right? Yes, that's right. I'm confident that more people are supporting the different people than initially appears. Also, more people are probably on the fence or either just don't care. If we can show them what's really going on, I believe we can sway them into voting in favor of repealing the petition. So Percy's come up with an idea. I have a counter campaign using these videos. Really? These videos? Whatever do you mean, Percy? Glad you asked, Marguerite. Well, since Marguerite has managed to film a lot of the craziness that's been going on this semester, people will be able to see the mistreatment of the different people firsthand. Plus, they will be able to see the insanity of those who support the petition through Chauvelin's manipulation of Marguerite and Pierre's blackmailing of the governor. Our own propaganda. Fascinating. So we're also going to be relying on Tony's article since he's temporarily not tied down by the petition. It's still up in the air whether the members of the League will be expelled. I still am though, if anyone was wondering. I got the official notice this Monday. I am to be gone by the end of the week. I can't believe they're kicking you out! Hey, I broke dozens of school rules and a couple minor laws. I accept my fate. I just hope I didn't drag the others into it with me. Dr. Wales is on my side keep trying to keep them here. Uh, he's playing every card he's got with the committee. <sighs> what am I going to do without you? Life's going to be boring again. Hey, don't get all mopey on me. I'm looking at schools nearby. While an expulsion doesn't look good on a record, I should at least be able to get community college. I've been also wondering. I know part of your cover was acting like an airheaded idiot. Oh. Thanks. Oh, don't give me that. We all knew you were faking, but how much of it was real? How do you mean? I mean, like, you had some inconsistencies and weird hobbies. Like, are you actually interested in fashion? Sure. I have an eye for it, don't I? I actually made it my major. Yeah, but... Cheese and rice, Marguerite! Where did you get such a marvelous blouse? I was just talking to Tamora the other day about ruffles on a girl's clothing. If I could, I would put ruffles on every shirt. It's like watching water springing forth from a fountain as it's picked up by the wind. So majestic. Where on earth do you come up with that stuff? I don't know. It just sort of comes. Uh, that's why I was taking theater. So I could brush up on my acting, particularly improv. What about poetry? That is a legitimate hobby. Blue coat at poem? I'll have to show you some of my real stuff sometime. Do you promise? So we're going to be advertising Marguerite's memoirs all over campus and all over town with the Scarlet Pimpernel signature on it. And if you're already watching, please spread the word. Please don't let this ridiculous petition be passed again. Remember, people are people, no matter what they look like or how they live their lives. You heard it from the Scarlet Pimper down himself, so vote no! No!